Uh, what's up, my dudes? So let's break right on in to the Sealed Throne of Eldraine format here. So I'm super excited about this set. There's a lot of cool cards for Limited in here. Like, there's just there's so much to say, but let's just hop right into it. Let's get right on in. Pop these packs. Give me some nice Chase Rares and Mythics, boys. Uh, Love Stark Beast, I'm pretty warm on. Murderous Rider, pretty nice. Mm. The rest of these kind of okay. So hopefully we got cards to support a black green archetype because both of these are pretty nice. I mean, this is a nice re repeating, like recurring value engine. It's okay. Like being able to go wide and limited is pretty strong. So I'm not, I'm not cold on this kind of a effect. Cauldron of Eternity, yeah, that's that's not really castable in my opinion. Super cool payoff, but that's just such a, a pipe dream for like unless we're in blue black mill. I just don't see like blue black self mill, I guess. I just don't see it. Uh Fey Wishes, it's alright. Generally, we're just going to be playing those cards in the deck anyways, especially in sealed. Like, if this was booster draft, maybe not, but... So let's uh, cut straight to it. Let's look at the black-green cards we get. All right, so from the top, uh, Eye Collector, that's more like the blue-black mill archetype kind of card. Uh, Forever Young is interesting and can help us like get repeated value off of cards like Murderous Rider and thing like, things like that. Giant Skewer is really good. Smitten Swordmaster is pretty good. Yeah, especially if we end up running a lot of knights, it would be pretty, pretty nice. Uh, Memory Theft, I don't really care for cards like this in Limited. Uh, Foo Token Enabler. Wicked Guardian, I'm not too warm on. Festive Funeral is good at killing you know, indestructible things sometimes. I'm not super hot on that card either. Black's not looking super great. Let's get uh, the ones we might care about up here. Maybe this, maybe this. Uh, let's get rid of this land situation here so we can keep a quick eye on what we're doing. All right, so out of green, Let's see, we have a Flaxen Intruder, pretty decent. There's a lot of artifacts we need to worry about uh, in this in this limited format. Plus, we get the uh, ability to kill off things uh, like the jail, jail enchantments, stuff of that nature. Fell the Pheasant, pretty good, because in this black-green thing that we're looking at currently, being able to deal with flying creatures is going to be a little difficult. And it is a food token. Uh, let's see here. Marl Leaf Rider. Forcing certain blocks can be wildly powerful. So we're going to throw this in the side right now. Love Struck Beast, obviously. Combat Tricks, that can also be a body. And that's a decently statted combat trick. Two mana instant 2-2 two, two until end of turn. That's pretty fine. I think that's... One of I think cards like this are one of the reasons to go into green and limited is that that repeated value and a three two for four after getting you know a, a plus two plus two for two it's perfectly fine. Okay, my adversary. I think this card in a best of three environment would be a lot better, but I'm not opposed to playing it. There are a lot of strong green cards out there, and a lot of our opponents will be playing green, so I'm not opposed to throwing that in. Oh, and we have two of them? Well, that might be a little greedy, but we'll, we'll see. Out Muscle is phenomenal. Oh. Let's see, this Paladin here. I like this guy. Five mana, four, four, can't be blocked by creatures of power two or less. Yeah, 5 mana, 4-4, four, four, can't be blocked by creatures power 2 or less. That's perfectly playable on its own. And if we have the Adamant, he gets an additional 1-1. One, one. 
yeah, that's that's a nice top end here. Wolf's Quarry, being able to clog the boar up with pigs, super good. They all make like you know food as well when they die. That's perfectly fine. Mail Leaf Pixie, I don't really care about right now. Okay, I'm Ranger. Spend four to get two one ones. And then you can also pump the team with it. I'm not super hot on that. Like for for higher mana curve cards, they need to be a little bit more important in the style of deck that we're already putting together. Because if you look, like things we're interested in, you know, we've already got a fair bit of expensive cards here. Under a snapper. Spells convert a mana cost five or greater draw a card. Probably not gonna hit that terribly often. There's not many that are actually gonna make the cut here. Let's look at our colorless cards. Let's see, we do have golden eggs. Which do count as food, no less. So if we end up in a food supported Let's see, so things things that care about food so far. We have these that can use the food to make target creatures block them. We have this guy that can just basically deal three or have target opponent take three. Yeah, not, not so much actually caring about food right now. In fact, let's just... Other cards with food in the text. Not much. Yeah, not, not a lot to take advantage of food, so I don't think we need to care too terribly much about golden eggs. Although some number of them to draw cards is probably fine if we need to, like these are fine fillers. Uh, gargle, okay. Can we play this? Protection for multicolor. Reach trample. I think this is fine. Like, you're getting exactly what you're statted for, but I, th I think that's fine. Yep, weapon rack. Let's see, enters the battlefield with 1-1s, one and then we can tap it to move 1-1s. One if this was capable of being used at instant speed, this would be honestly pretty neat. That would... <laughs> At, at instant speed, it almost reminds me of back when modular and damage on the stack nonsense with like Triska Lion was going on. Scarecrow, not really worthwhile. Choose a color creature, the chosen color, get plus one plus zero, and then add one mana to the chosen color. I'm actually not terribly opposed to this if we can. No, we're we're not we're not really capable of doing something like that right now. We need we need more hotness. Let's see what else is supported in this uh, in this collection of cards here. So Adilic Grange. If it comes in untapped, you put a plus one plus one. Okay, Venerable Knights all right. All the glitters. That can be a reason to run down a food archetype path because that's just like two mana Blanchwood armor at that point. Like, Blanchwood food armor. That's a that's pretty interesting. We we may end up taking taking a real good like look at white here. Uh, shiny armor. If we have you know a lot of knight action, we have a fair bit of knights, and we already have. Let's see, Smitten Swordmaster. This rider, this rider. Oh yeah, Garen Brick Paladin too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not opposed to trying to focus in on some knight archetype here. Uh, we'll probably end up cutting. Man, I really, I really don't want to cut black here because Murderous Rider is so good. Maybe we use that mana fixing. No, not not that one. That one was trash. We want this one. Now, yeah, but this this even gets worse if we if we branch into a third color. Let's let's just look straight at the white cards here. So we have decent equipment at flash. Ardenville Tactician is fine. Not terribly great. Hmm. Four mana 
three six. I'm not super excited about that, although it is a knight. Exile target artifact enchantment. It's probably good, decent in this limited format. Creates a token, and we get a three three body for five. That's all right. Unicorn's not great, so I'm not. I'm not super hot on our white cards here. Uh, Inspiring veterans fine. Fireborn knights fine. And this is fine. And we do have another knight in green white split. Let's take a look at blue. What do we have here? Witching Well, I guess. Hey, Wishes. Hypnotic Sprite is neat. This guy can turn our food into uh, some 4 4s, which is pretty decent. Charm Sleep, I mean, this is one of the better removal cards in the, the format, I, b I believe. Mystical Dispute is some weird, funny hate. I don't usually care for playing counter spells in, in Limited. I'd rather just play good cards and not be at the whims of, I, I don't know, a lot. Uh, Queen of Ice is one of the, also one of the good removal cards in this format. Turn into a pumpkin. You can basically think of it like kicked blink of an eye. That you can also make a two, uh, a, a food token off of. Mantras Paladin's okay. Mm. Six mana, four five. That if we have a food, it bounces a dude. That might be worth considering. Let's get into black here. Yeah, there's nothing left. Let's get into red here. Oh, no, get back. So, no seven dwarves. Crystal slipper's fine. Dwarven mine is okay. A land that makes a 1 1 token, that's fine. Argen is a decent combat trick because it's each attacking non human creature against trample until end of turn. Hey, that's. <laughs> Definitely sneak in some lethal with that. Red Cat Melee is probably better than it looks. Like, 4 damage despite that potential sacrifice of land clause. That's, that's probably probably fine. The thing is, is we're, we're much more likely to see blue, black, and green in Limited, in my opinion, than we are red. I don't think there's a lot of reasons for sealed players to go into red outside of just busted mythics because a lot of the red cards in sealed just feel a little bit in my opinion they feel a little kind of on par with white which is not very good one mana one one with weird fire breathing okay yeah not super warm on any of these red cards here I mean, this Paladin's pretty decent for, like, single attack, or if we're able to roll in and then cast Barge in as well, something like that. Now, he, he could be okay. Uh, Inspiring Veteran's good, but I don't think we can support that. Fireborn Knight is good. Yeah, let's look back at our green cards here. I think what we want to do is just stick to that green-black plan. And bolster as best we can what we have. Because I think we need to leverage the power that we have in Murderous Rider and the power that we have in Lovestruck Beast. And I don't think we can really overlook the fact that we have a little bit of recursion. Giant Skewer is really good. Uh, Smitten Swordmaster has the ability to help us put the game away with the amount of knights that we have going on. This is... Not too shabby. So let's let's look at everything that I could potentially run here that I would be happy about. So since we have let's see 13 green cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and nine of them are green. I'm okay with a Heraldic, heraldic banner. And then I think I also want this OK Ranger, some number of them. As far as our remaining black cards, 
Yeah, this shuts down an adventure, but I, I just don't think that's good in any way. I would like to be much more aggressive with a deck like this. The question is, do I want to leverage this snapper? Hmm. Let's throw it in for now, and let's throw in this golden egg. And let's think about how we want to do this. So right now, we have a lot of non-creature cards. 16 creatures. I would like to cut our curve a fair bit, because we have so many fours. Like, we have... Is that eight four drops? Yeah. yeah. And then, you know, further further guys. This mana curve is way high. I wish I could drag this up. So let's look at what's better than what here. I think we could probably get away with just... We're not super heavy on the combat trick plan, but I want some number of instant speed interaction, and Garenbrick Carver does serve as both an instant and a body later on. Become Adversary. It's possible we cut one of these. We probably don't want two of those. And Outmuscle is really good, so we're not going to get rid of that. I, I can see cutting one of these. The question is, is this more important or the pig? We don't have a lot of food interaction, so not the pig. Now we're at 23 cards in deck, and how's the curve looking? Better. Is better. We're still, still a little high up there. I don't know what all we can do to lower that. I'm kind of okay with the cauldron. I'm okay with Clockwork Servant, but we kind of want to cut curve here, not, not really add to it. Is it possible that I can splash a third color here? I don't really think so. Because if it if we were, I would probably look at white. And I'm not super warm on any of these low low curve cards, which is what I would be throwing in. Like it's it's possible, like just that's fine. We're at 14 creatures though, which is lower than I would like to be. I'm not super hot on Eye Collector. Although we do have Cauldron of Eternity. So if we do end up milling some things, Cauldron could be okay. It seems like a high risk play. And our creatures are pretty decent actually for like returning to the battlefield. Let's cut some number of non-creature spells here. So things things we care less about. Why is this? Oh, it's it's, it's counting our. Okay, yeah, got it. So we have one equipment and two food artifacts. This artifact and then the snake. So it's really only four non-creatures here. So nine total non-creatures. Let's cut some number of those. One golden egg seems pretty easy to get out of here. Let's bring in Eye Collector. Let's get rid of... If I am running Eye Collector, Test of Funeral gets a lot better. You know what? You only, you only live once. Aldrin of Eternity it is. Ridiculous. Maybe, maybe we'll get to meme on some dudes. I don't think this is a good idea, but we're going to give it a go. We're uh, we're going wild here, boys. Going wild. All right, so let's get some uh, some lands in here. I would like Mirage Swamp and Mirage 
forest. Yeah, it seems nice. Suggest me some lands, boys. What do we got? I disagree with your assessment. Almost outright. All right, so let's, uh, let's analyze this. So those are equal, up one black, up three black, up four black, three black, black, one black, one green, a lot of green, a lot of green. Yeah, let's cut a swamp, cut a swamp. Our double, double cost card is Cauldron of Eternity, Murderous Rider though, so let's go up one swamp. What else do we have for fixing? It is possible we want this, Oh no, that's pay two to get one of any color. No, 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 that's that's not good at all. We don't want that. <laughs> as as this is looking, well, our average is now super skewed from a uh, cauldron of eternity. The thing is, is like this this card is going to feel very very bad to draw a lot. But if we can stunt on somebody once, I'm going to take this out of the deck and we're going to roll <laughs> roll through without it. So this this seems okay. We're uh, we're not we're, we're we're trying to leverage our our rares and mythics, but I'm not super sold on what we're up to here. Do I want to maybe go up a land? No, I think we're going to try it as is. See what happens here. We have a little bit of draw. The, the thing I'm worried about is like if we end up milling lands of ours and then we just only draw into four drops. Because let's see, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten cards that are four or greater mana. This just seems reckless. Let's... There's just not much to bring in. I, I really don't want to bring in a, a zero three. Like that's that just seems really bad. Clockwork seems okay. Tell you what, let's let's be responsible here. Let's drop. Is this the worst expensive card we have? I don't think so. I think it's probably this this combat trick. But I don't really want to cut a creature. I don't really want to cut out muscle. Maybe we just cut another three? That doesn't change our curve at all. Yeah, I think Cauldron just has to go. I think that's the most responsible way to go. I don't really want to cut our draw because we we need the ability to get into into lands. Oh, and we also have the the sorcery side of this to be really expensive with. You know, cauldron's coming in. We gotta just nut up and do it. Let's get rid of clockwork again and roll out. All right, one game with it, win or lose, and then we're gonna cut that out of there because that is just easily objectively. The worst card that we have. All right, double forest and egg. This car, th th this this hand is not keepable. All right, this is a little better. Uh, we have Mara Leaf Rider. We have Eye Collector. One swamp turns us on to Murderous Rider. Let's drop Cauldron because there's no way. Well, let's see what we get. Not swamp. Okay. That's workable.
Well, let's just get in for four here. Not swamp, not swamp. Okay. Ooh. Some cool sorcerer spyglass action right here. Seems like an odd inclusion and limited, but we are playing that cauldron, so who am I to talk? It would actually be <laughs> pretty pretty comical because this does shut down our, our cauldron of eternity. Still three damage to that guy, sure. Want to buy <laughs> either either swamp or action man, like come on. Not swamp? Okay. Sweet Jesus. Well, we do have Adamant for Out Muscle. There's just uh, not any good targets for it. Well, we're making a, a strong showing of uh, playing lands and saying go. Yep, take one. Well, that was helpful. Black source, please. Jesus Christ. Hmm. I don't know that. Let's... <sighs> With all that open mana... Do we want to blow our hand to deal with the trebuchet? We can sack the egg for mana. I feel as if I plus two plus two this. They have some action that they're just going to cast on it. We're just going to pass the turn. Opponent also somewhat on the the flood plan here. Well, let's uh, murder a shredder. Auto pay, that's interesting. Yep. Well, let's get a 1 1. Swing this guy. Please, no swamp. Please, no swamp. Ah, it was a swamp. Needed that. And we may as well. Pass the turn. <laughs> There's sound effects when you play this guy. I, I really like the flavor and creativity in some of these cards. Thornal Drain is just so far shaping up to be such a cool set. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. 
All right. Well, that worked out better than I could have wanted it to. And yet another forest, so that's nice. I think we just swing in here. There's no reason to... give anything indestructible or anything. There's no reason to fight that fairy godmother. We can hold that up for better, better cards. Let's get in while the getting's good, though. Try to take advantage of the fact that our opponent's been flooded as well. Yeah, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to pay full price for that, but that's all right. I'm kind of interested... One has one card in hand. Let's not get too crazy here. Let's just swing, swing. And then we'll play OK My Adversary in the second main phase. Say go. Oh, that does have first strike. Yeah, that's a bit of a mistake. Oh, no, they didn't have first strike. OK, yeah, yeah, yeah. That had lifelink. Yeah, yeah, all right. did have first strike. This guy had first strike. Okay. Different 2-1. Yep. Sweet trebuchet. So now we can just out muscle and swing for lethal. Pretty easy mode. So let's out muscle Okam and the wall. Push everybody in the club. All right. I mean, they definitely could have taken that another turn, but. I guess they were probably just done. So this deck seems all right. We're definitely trying to chip out some efficient plays and hope that that works. One mind with Tristani, that's pretty good. Well, that's a lot of swamp. So let's put back under a snapper and hope we get just as flooded this time as we did the last time. That's a start.
There we go. All right. All the land we need. No more. More land, please. Hmm, let's get Tempting Witch out here. We can make a handful of dudes next turn, which is pretty nice. I'm a huge fan of this card, Our Leaf Rider. I think this is just great, great card design. Oh yeah, because we're going to expose. Oh no, it can't block. Well, that's unfortunate. We can't deal with that. Well, another forest and we can activate this bad boy. Let's... Drop our rider and say go. Okay. Is there any reason to hold on to food anymore? Probably not. Like that food. Unfortunately, not hitting the adamant on this. Well, yes, we will. No, no, no. Hold on. Relax. Cease. Tap black. Tap green. Then let's fire this off. Thank you, sir. I guess I could have sworn with this guy. Sir Allen is a pretty solid card. We need some way to deal with that pretty much right now. That is not it, Chief. Well... Do I want to make an attack here? First strike, not first strike. No. No attacks. Well, things are getting a little hairy. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Only two cards in Graveyard. This instant speed. So let's see, I swing in, swing in. They block or block, block. We just can't do it. Man, 
really needing some some activity here. We could take out Bella the Brawl, which is pretty required. That's two knights that that's buffing up. Let's just pass the turn. Yikes, man. There's too many dudes. Well, let's pop this. I don't see how we come back from this. We've just had way too much flood or <laughs> how poor our individual cards are. Yeah, this. Our inability to deal with this tutu is just fucking killing us. There is the cauldron. I have one creature in the graveyard. If I put another creature in the graveyard, this will cost eight. I have six. So I need two things to die to be able to cast this. And it's really not even good in this situation. Like, the fact that this has been sitting in my hand this entire game has really just lost this game for us. Like, four of our seven total swamps in the hand. I don't think we can really do much but just take five damage next turn and lose. Yeah, we're, we're just going to go to the next one. Oh, I guess I could just click that, huh? All right, one on one. Roll out. All right. Let's ditch this pretty easily. And yeah, I guess. Gingerbread cabin from the opponent. Quite the good card. The question is, do we want Giant Skewer on the field so that we can eventually equip it to this big boy? Or do we want Mara Leaf Rider out? 
Well, we don't have any food at the moment. Let's get Golden Egg down, I think. I think we're just going to play the Forest until we need a Swamp. We do have a couple of double black cards, like if we draw on a Murderous Rider. We do need to be cognizant of that, but we don't have a second Swamp yet. You know, Savvy Hunter pretty good. Got no blocks. So let's get down our big boy. And see what sweet premium removal they have. Right, so that's the creature spell pump guy, okay. I'm pretty all right with that, actually. So let's get out our giant skewer and our Mara Leaf Rider. Spicy, spicy three color deck over here. All right. Uh, that's pretty unfortunate. There's not much we can do except lose to that. The Cauldron, huh? Let's get some sweet adamant action here. Big boy's gonna make it happen. Well, that is pretty good for the opponent. Forboding Fruit, a pretty solid card in Sealed. Let's start getting some action here. Let's get the old giant skewer firing up. So, we'll be combat here. Swing, swing. Let's see if we can entice some, some hot action here. If they block Marl Leaf with the 2 2, like that, we can okie doke them pretty neat. Pretty, pretty happy with that trade. Pretty 
What does this guy do? Oh, he's the three mana dork. Giants skewer pretty decent here. Equip to him. Okay. Flaxen Intruder. One more mana, we can rock and roll with that. So let's do this. If we sack our golden egg, it can make it so Savvy Hunter has to block, and then once uh, Mara Leaf goes to the graveyard, we can fire off Festive Funeral and kill that thing while we're pushing in seven. And then we can... Would it be worthwhile to just play Fax Flax and Intruder here? Let's let's do this. Let's fire off, because we may not even need to sack the golden egg. He may just block our 3-1 and call it good. Yeah. Neat. Yep, you get sweet food. Kill that guy. He's at least one blocker in the hand via that neat adventure mana dork. I would like a... Let's see, I guess I would like a... Another couple of lands to get this flax and intruder out with the uh, get three two two bears action. Well, that's pretty good. Let's get down this snapper, I suppose, post combat, and then we'll play this guy if we have to. So let's. And we'd be exposed here. They have one green. I don't think so. Yep, there's your sweet food. The question is, is it worthwhile... Oh no, I can't. I can't do that. Is it worthwhile to... play Flax and Intruder and get in damage to kill that Skewer? Oh, it's combat damage to a player? That's unlikely. Let's just play this and say go. Be running low on blockers by this point. Garenberg Paladin just been mopping up. I'm surprised they haven't come across any like, real removal. Although it is it is sealed, can't exactly control which cards you get in your pool. We don't have great removal either. Sack some foods, gain some lives. Sweet dude. That guy would be an 8-8. Eight eight. Well, that's a step. Let's get this guy down. Down to three. Is it worthwhile to just... No, no it's not. Every creature on board can kill at the moment. Well, they do have a, a food to gain some life with. An 8-8 would be cool from them, but...
one land and we can make a shit ton of bears, that seems like it'd be pretty difficult to to win after. Yep. Well, let's uh fire off. Looks pretty GG to me. Aaron Brick Paladin. Getting it in. That's the kind of a uh, kind of efficiency we're looking for here. <laughs> Neat. All right, two one. Rocking and rolling. Or was that one one? I'm always confused by the fact that it has zero wins as the the first place on there. Uh, this hand certainly plays. <laughs> Some of the arts of this set. And Merfolk becomes human, so when it's earned, that's <laughs> so good. <laughs> All right, so let's, uh, do we though? I think we just wait until their turn. Next turn, we can cast the Sweet Paladin with Adamant, no less. Get back on that plan. You gonna counter me, bro? That'd be fucking sweet. All right. I don't, uh... I don't actually know if that counts as doing combat damage, so we're gonna see what happens. Does not, okay, neat. It's a nice low impact time to try that out. <laughs> kind of a pretty pretty decent punish there. Oh man. Yeah, it's just another? Okay. Uh, yes, pay adamant. Oh, it's asking because... No, there's there's not other things I can do. Oh, I don't know what that's about. Alright. Attack one on. Rock and roll. Out muscle in the paladin, getting it in. Oh, we are. We are three in one. That's what I'm talking about, boys. Our deck ain't even that good. Hot damn. This seems pretty unfortunate. Play on two, get the witch out. 
There's a lot of cool shit we can draw into. I, I, we're just going to mulligan this. Uh, this is considerably more playable. Let's bottom the witch, I guess. Or forever young. No, we're, we're going to bottom the witch. Forever young's nice. Two mana card draw. And we can put like Bloodstruck Beast back on top or something like that. Like, that's perfectly fine. A third land and we're firing away with some Gucci shit. Darcy blows. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, man. Oh, opponent. Oh, my word. Yeah, I just want, I want more mana online. All right. Well, I don't know what that was about, but man, this feels uh weird. <laughs> I didn't think we were that far ahead. Like there was maybe uh, I don't know, maybe they just kept a loose hand or something. That fair enough. I do wish this event was best of three, but at the same time. I don't know if we can actually find any number of cards in the sideboard <laughs> that are worth swapping out. Uh, this hand has Lovestruck Beast. <laughs> Which means we're going to keep it, boys. Ooh. Very nice. Yeah, let's just get this guy down. Pass the turn. All right, let's see what this does. Whenever you sack food, you can pay one. If you do look at the top two cards, put a permanent into your hand, the rest on the bottom. Okay. I don't really want to expose Lovestruck Beast to their pretty inevitable enchantments. But I do want to apply pressure. Let's just, yeah, we're we're just gonna fire it off. Yeah, they can uh, they can blast us with like so tiny or something like that. But it's still not the worst thing in the world. And we may as well get in. They have one blue open. Yep, yep, yep. All right, come on, Swamps. We do have Adamant active for uh, all of our green cards that care about it. Some number of Swamps would be neat. Getting some uh, 
arena lag over here. So we'll, we'll we'll definitely fire off this combat trick when they block the three one with the you know anything. Get that wall out the way. Unclog the board a little bit. Not get hasted on, which would be pretty unfortunate. We got like a 45% shot at a land right here. I would appreciate one. Preferably a swamp. But I'll take a, a forest. You know, it gets me into out muscle territory and stuff. Or not. That's fine too. Let's swing our 5-5. Five five. I'm not interested in trading our 3-1 right now. I will commit. So there is a white board wipe in this set. I don't think there's any other color board wipe. I want to keep the board nice and clogged up on our side since our opponent's not played anything terribly of note yet. If they're playing a card like this, I assume they've got some massive beater. Have we seen any... We've only seen this from them as far as rares go, huh? Pretty solid card. And we are definitely going to outmuscle that. And swing out. Good game opponents. Well, when it happens, it happens. Oh, all right. Five and one, boys. Roll on. Ooh, Garrick. Uh, this hand... Man, we've gone first like every game, huh? All right, this works. Let's put back Oak Home Ranger, because that seems... Or Oak Home Ranger, because we seem really far from being able to cast that literally ever. We could probably actually just drop that the deck. Uh, I don't want a 1-1. One -one. Artifact Snake with Rich and Trample. We're going to pass the turn. And we're going to cast probably the Golden Egg next turn. Depends on what, what happens here. Against Black Untapped Mana. Let's Golden Egg and see what happens. Okay. Well, I can't say this. We're definitely hitting our land drops in this uh in this run here. <laughs> so let's get out the uh the rider here. Say go. I think I just want to cast this for four. Protection for multicolor, not super good in this <laughs> sealed format, but you never know. 4-4, four, four, reach Trampler for 4 is, well, it was a lot better before this guy came into town. Funny thing is, I bought him to Okame Ranger. <laughs> we could have cast him on curve. <laughs> Let's fire away the attack. Very nice. Thank you, sir. And we'll fire this off for four.
I'm pretty all right with just uh, out muscling that thing away. And then getting in for five. And then we've got our sweet, sweet, sweet paladin. Coming down next turn. Yep, yep, yep. That's a pretty solid card, in limited. And it has knight's energy. Man, there's a lot of good knights. Only this snake was a knight. I wonder what this... I don't know what this is in the, uh, in the lore here. Yes, we do have a second color in our deck, as a matter of fact. So what could happen to us here? They can make that dude a 7-7. Seven, seven. Or give that dude plus seven plus seven or whatever. That is a card that is in limited and white. Let's fire away and see what happens. I'm okay with two for one if that's the case. And if it's not the case, away we go. Well, there is the opportunity for them to have that giant with the board wipe rare. So we're gonna, or mythic or whatever it is. Well, if it's mythic, we might not play around that. Well, that is a rare right there. And we are definitely going to kill that. Uh, yeah, we're going to kill that right now. Neat. I think you, uh, probably didn't mean to do that. Sir Allen, a pretty good card. So they're going to put the cleaver on it, which gives what, plus two, plus one? And he has first strike, so let's get this death toucher out. We're now in the range that just about anything will get the job done. We could just run out muscle and win. It's like a 4% shot at that. Like we, we got that going for us. What do we got? 26 cards in the library. Circle of Loyalty. Creatures you control get plus one, plus one. That's pretty spicy. So do we want to push in? So what's, what's going to happen here? They're going to make a token next turn. So if we swing in, they block. Uh, they make a token, and then they block, block. I don't think we can wait. I think we have to fire away. Down to one. We draw a card. It's a Yeah, boy, it's a mana source. Now we got a flying one one. That bitch didn't see that shit coming. We had black the whole time. Man, what a <laughs> what an MVP draw engine. <laughs> Good game opponents. Take it at home. All right. Six and one.
Bogustelli? Bogustelli? This hand's fine. I think we're going to lead on Flaxen. Yeah. Let's see, we have 44% shot at a land. Followed by like a 45% shot at a land. All right, boys, 14, 14, and 31. Give me that, give me that sweet, sweet land. Land right here, please. Hot land. We're not going to not swing in. But the question is, do we just play an eye collector? Or do we combat trick to kill the 2-3? I'm not super hot on combat trick to kill the 2-3. Because we don't have... <laughs> without, without that land in our handful of fours, we're... Uh... Oh yeah, tell you what. Rock and roll. We didn't come here to not do cool shit. Came here to be aggressive as fuck in a limited format. Discard two cards. Well, that seems pretty easy. What is this thing? A seven mana four five. Oof. I don't know if we can beat our own big boy. Big boy, no. We can just outmuscle it, but we don't have adamant, so that feels pretty bad. I think we just take a five hit and say go. And we can. Hmm. Oh no, we couldn't outmuscle. That's plus one, plus one, and then it fights. Ooh, son. Do we double block that? Do we just let it go? The thing is, is if we if we let it go, whatever they play second main phase may just be <laughs> like a, a snowballing worse option. Like things may just get so much worse for us if we just let it go. However, we are at twenty. If we double block here, well, I guess if if we double block and they play a worse, bigger, better dude, we don't have access to out muscle to take out anything. Can't be blocked by knights or walls. Okay. Well, since they played that first main phase, now we don't really have any debates here. We're going to let this go through. We're going to play this pre-combat to kind of give them the idea that, well, no, we could just sack the food. So if I sack the food, I'm basically trading the knight 
And then I can out muscle like the carver and make it a four three. Yeah. Oh, it could have gained indestructible. I've I've messed this up. I've misplayed this pretty pretty hard actually. I forgot that I had Adamant online. Well, that's pretty unfortunate. We could have kept the creature on the board. Which would have been pretty good for double blocking still. It is unfortunate. Because now we can't double block this because that's a power two or less. Yeah. Question is, does it matter? Probably. Like we, we definitely should have capitalized on that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think this is pretty much in the bag. Kept a bit of a loose hand. Made a pretty big misplay. I don't think we can beat Love Struck Beast. Yep, that'll uh let's see, lose three. They're gonna swing in for five. Now we can't really accomplish that because they're going to let's see. We would need a lot of turns. We'll we'll take it to the next one. It'll be alright. It'll be alright. Definitely remembering that that synergy with the rider now. Big big thing. All right, last game, one way or the other. Rather seven and two, six and three, boys. Alright, Mega Nazumi. So we've got Colors Online, we've got Love Struck Beast available, we've got Heraldic Banner. I'm pretty good with this. Yeah. Let's just fire straight away into Love Struck Beast. Self mill blue black. What do we what do we got in here? Black Lance Paragons. Nifty, nifty card. Do I want to enhance their self mill play by playing Eye Collector? Probably not. I'm just gonna play a two one lifelink. Get in for one. Play Love Strike next turn. Where do I go for the banner? That's it's just Love Struck. All right, so I think we really need to kill that, which means we need to get this down so we can Murderous Rider next turn, because this has to go. Bring this out, choose green. Fall out, fall out.
up to 24. Yes. Are 22 cards in the library? Yeah, we'll run it out. Oh man, we need to uh, we need to kill this. Soon, please. <laughs> it's three and ten. Okay. Oh, add one man of the chosen color. Ooh. Ooh. All right, well, let's do this. Let's get some action here. So we'll mill one, they'll block the two one. We'll have two cards in the library, we'll festive funeral. Or not. Well, um, uh, do I want to bring this up? They're at 13. Can they punish us? By playing Okam Adversary. We need card draw, like something fierce. Such a cool card. <laughs> Add one of the chosen color. <laughs> uh, nothing like not reading cards. <laughs> All right. The nifty thing is, our eye collector works for, uh, the Love Strike Beast as well. So, uh, we're gonna push in 12 damage here, boys. Thirteen, I guess. Neat. Now Festive Funeral's online, we got three cards in Graveyard. It's gonna need some pretty, pretty solid action from the opponent here to get out of this spot. All right, boys, there we go. And that's a wrap. That's uh, definitely, <laughs> Weirdly, one of the better sealed runs that I've ever had. I have no idea. Our, our deck was just like slightly above average in my opinion. But, 2200 gems. The run was free, boys. Sound like a free run. So, uh, yeah, that's... Huh. That's pretty good. Fair enough. All right, gentlemen. Well, uh, I think that'll just about wrap this up. We'll probably be doing a lot more Throne of Eldraine seals, or a lot more Throne of Eldraine uh, limited in general. So here in 78 hours when this unlocks, I plan on playing the absolute fuck out of this set. This set in limited just seems so incredibly fun. Uh, we're probably going to be doing some constructive videos down the line as well, uh, just because there's a lot of fun to be had with the, the fact that everything is rotated. We've got a bunch of cool, you know, beginner decks to start off with now. Our collection has, so basically, you know, the standard power level decreased. We went, you know, from from eight sets down to five sets, and a lot of the, the the sets that rotated cut off a lot of archetypes. So now there's a lot more cool, you know, Ravnica Guild kind of things that we can do. A lot of cool War of the Spark cards that you know just never really saw play before, like 
what is this? Maybe we're going to play with this. I don't know. Uh, oh, that's, yeah, yeah we're, we're not looking at standard. Let's, uh, it would be nice if there was a, there we go. It would be nice if there was a way to just filter standard or historic, but like there's, there's so many like nifty cards in here that just don't really see play or didn't really see play that I'm, I'm pretty excited to, to start messing around with. Uh, Jim Davis played Fix, Fishy Grixis uh, in the, the previous formats, and I'm pretty excited to start using cards like Soul Diviner with these high loyalty, low cost Planeswalkers and just start cranking out grindy value for like weird, ridiculous things. I want to make like stupid strong bio essence hydra decks that you just swing in for 26 26 or something like that like this there's, there's gonna be a lot of cool things to come with this format i'm pretty excited you guys should be too and uh, that'll that'll wrap it up for the video